everybody, welcome to Franny's Hair. I'm so excited to share with you my visit to Henry Margieu, and yes, that's how you pronounce it. I will tell you about that later. And also, I'm gonna share with you the details about our Valentine's event that you don't wanna miss. So stay tuned. Okay, so before I show you my trip to Henry Margu, I just wanted to tell you about our big Valentine's event at Franny'sHair.com. We're having a site-wide sale starting today, and it runs through to Saturday, so it's a week-long event, and almost every wig's going to be on sale. There's only one brand that's an exception, and that's Main Attraction. In addition, Henry Margu wigs are going on sale starting on Valentine's Day, but at Franny'sHair.com, the sale starts today. So you have a chance to get first dibs on those Henry Margu wigs that you love. And as you know, Henry Margu does not go on sale often, so make sure you take advantage of that. Finally, we're gonna be having a raffle for a free wig giveaway. So I'll have a link in the description below. You just head on over, you can fill out an entry form, it's free to enter, and the winner will get their choice of a synthetic Raquel Welsh or Gabor wig. So make sure you don't miss out on that. Okay, so this past week I had the opportunity to visit Henry Margu. Henry Margu is a family-owned business just like mine, so I had the chance to meet with Mark Margu, who is the great-grandson of the founder of the business, and then I also got to meet his dad, Andrew, really great people, so hospitable. It was a lot of fun. I love visiting the brands because I can learn about the products, the operation, and the more I know, the more I can help you to find the right product. So this was a really great visit. I took all of your questions and suggestions with me. I went over every single one with Mark, and you'll see him answer some of the questions in our interview, and the other answers that I got, I will be sure to tell you. I'll go through everything with you. Of course, while I was there, I bought some wigs because that's what I do. I think I got about 10 wigs to show you. So I'm going to show you some of them in this video and then I'll probably do another video where I show you the rest of them. I want to make sure to get parts of the interview in this video as well. So what I'll be doing is trying on some of the wigs for you, doing the normal review that I do, and then interspersing bits of our interview throughout the video. It was really great to see the whole operation and Mark took me through the factory. I got to meet the people that work there and learn about the products and see how they put together the orders and the whole entire process. So that was really great to see. Okay, so before we get started with the first part of my interview with Mark, I wanted to talk about this wig. This wig is chic. It's a hand-tied piece. It has a temple-to-temple -temple lace front. Hopefully you can see that there. A full mono top. So you can part it anywhere on the top here just show you that and the color is 24 H18 which is described as a light ash brown with golden blonde so you can see that there before I get started with the measurements my circumference is 21 and a half inches from forehead to chin I'm eight and a half inches and I'll have all of my measurements in the description below if you don't know how to measure your head, head over to my website, franniesHair.com. I have a blog that will show you how to measure your head. All right, so let's talk about the measurements of this piece. It says the back is three inches to seven and a half inches. The nape is three inches. The overall length is 10 inches. It seems about right if I'm eight and a half here to here. The Length from the ear tab is six and a half inches. The top is eight and a half inches. The sides, six and a half to seven and a half inches, and it weighs 3.3 ounces. As far as density goes, I would say this is a low density piece. I don't feel any permatease. And that reminds me, somebody asked about Henry Margu's philosophy of permatease. So you'll get to hear that in, in the interview, but I don't feel any in this piece feels low density. And the beauty of a hand knotted piece, which I'll show you when I show you the cap, is that if you're out in the wind and the wind should blow, you won't see any wefting because there's no wefting up here. 
So that's a really nice advantage. Plus, the fibers fall more naturally, like your hair does, because our hair is not in wefts on our head. So that would make sense. All right, let me spin and show you the style. I really like this style with the longer pieces in the front. And I think chic is the perfect name for it. It is a chic style. Okay, let me try on the glasses for you. Now I did adjust the adjusters in, one on each side, because it was feeling a little loose. I first put it on right out of the box and it felt a little loose, so I adjusted it. Wait till I show you these adjusters on this wig. And I don't know if it's on all of their hand tied pieces, I have this one and another one here, so I'll check the other one. But it has the bra hook closures, and sometimes, I don't know if you've experienced this, but sometimes when you have that, they fall out easily. I've had that happen in some wigs. Not these babies. <laughs> these are curved, and I'll show you, so they actually hook on, and they're not going anywhere. Uh, as a matter of fact, to, to move it to the other spot took me a little bit of work, but I figured it out. I'm going to show you what I did. Okay, so glasses under the ear tabs. I feel it a little bit. Over the ear tabs, perfect. That's the way I would wear this, over the ear tabs. Okay, so let me take this color, show it to you outside, and then we'll come back and we'll take a look at the cap. Okay, so here we are, 24H18. This is outside. Hopefully you're getting a good look at this. It's actually nice out here. I thought I was gonna freeze, but this is good. Good day for coming out and showing you color. Okay, so let's take a look at the cap. This is 100% hand tied. You can see this is just beautiful. And you can see my hand in there. So if the wind should blow, you won't see any wefting. And as I said, the fibers fall more naturally in a hand tied cap because they're not sewn in in wefts. They're hand tied, usually two to three fibers at once, and they fall much more naturally. Okay, so you have your lace front from temple to temple, and the description for this wig says that it has a medical application on front hairline and ear tabs. So you have your full mono top, you have your ear tabs here, and I don't know if this is a silicone or what material that is, but I'm sure that's the medical application there. And then you have your extended nape here. Okay, and here are your adjusters. It's really nice because they're in this little pocket here. And then if you look closely, you can see there's a hook on that. So that keeps it in place, which is really nice. It did make it a little bit difficult for me to get it off, which is good to know because it stays on. And what I did was I pulled the adjuster strap out from the sleeve a little bit, so it gave me a little leeway, and I stuck my thumb under it, and then I was able to get it off and adjust it. But with that little hook there, it really stays in place. I like that feature. So that is Chic in 24H18. Now let's get to the beginning of my interview with Mark. Oh, I almost forgot to mention about the pronunciation of Margu. When I was there, I heard Mark's father say Margu, and I said, oh, is it Margu or Margu? And he said Margu. And I said, oh my goodness, I've been saying this wrong all along. So the interview actually happened before that interaction happened. So you'll see in the interview, I actually say the name incorrectly. But Mark was so nice, he never even said anything to me about it. All right, let's get to the beginning of the interview. I'm here at Henry Margu, and I'm with Mark Margu. And we're going to learn about the business here and talk about some of their wigs. And I got all of your questions. Some of them we'll be answering here, and some of them I will be answering later on. Um, but let's get started. Ready to, ready to go. All right. Thank you so much for of having course. me. It's first. a pleasure to have you here. <laughs> it's, it's been great. He took me through the whole operation, and I really learned a lot. So do you want to tell them what you do here? Sure. Um, so amongst many things um, involved with sales and marketing for our company and a little bit involved with some of the product development, 
um, focus on our clients. We, we obviously sell business to business, so we focus on clients like Fran and, and others. We, we sell all across uh, the US and globally, and uh, we've been in business since 1951, so we're one of the longest uh, standing uh, manufacturers of, of women's hair products and um, wigs and toppers and hair pieces hats as well, which we'll show you some interesting hat products um, as we proceed here. Yeah, I have my eye on one over there that I'm going to be trying on. So, well, tell me about, obviously, it's a family-owned company like mine is, so tell me a little bit about where it started and everything. Yeah, of course. So we started in 1951. Um, we started as a, as a retailer. That's why we're very connected to our, our retailers and consumers. Um, we started in West Philadelphia. Some may know the Fresh Prince of Bel Air is a famous mm -hmm sitcom that's around the area we started. Um, we grew into a warehouse and manufacturing facility uh, about 10, 15 years later. Got into hair recently, uh, shortly after. Um, kind of discontinued most of the hat products and then became more focused on fashion and medical in the 2000s and um, have been growing, growing since and sort of um, trying to deliver the best types of products for our, for our clients. And who started so. the company? Uh, William, my uh, great grandfather. So it's been in the family for many years. That's yeah. really great. I love working with family. You know, it's nice. Hopefully, you do too. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> You're on camera, so you have to. <laughs> so, tell me a little bit about what makes Henry Marcou different from other brands. So our company is um, most focused on quality, um, service, uh, efficiency, getting products out the door for our clients, and. Um, I think really we have a slogan which we went over earlier, the difference is beautiful. You'll see that on some of our uh, branding and marketing. Our, our quality um, is, is beyond measurable. We focus highly on the detail of each product that we bring in, samples, uh, new products, and even in our own facility, we make sure that the quality is outstanding. Um, with our new designs, we um, make sure that we're bringing something into market that's going to be well received. We do a lot of research. We also don't bring um, a ton of products to market and then you know close them out. We try to bring a product to market that's um, going to do well and keep it in um, in our catalog and in on rotation and online for for many years. So Which is great because yeah. I know some women they're like, I love this wig and now I can't get this wig. But if you still have it, that's great for them. They can keep wearing that wig. No, definitely. And I think back to our, our quality, we have several different types of uh, manufacturing um, benefits to our product that make it more realistic, even the synthetic. Um, we make our caps most comfortable and stretch, stretchable. And, um, you know, in terms of just um, the hair itself, um, Fran's wearing one of our top selling oh, yeah. styles, Kendall. Kendall in 626H. <laughs> so you can see the, the quality and the color that we, we, we uh, put as much detail as we can into yeah, it. And I really like, I'll come up close, you can see the highlights in there. Okay, so talking about your fibers, what are they made, or where are they made, first of all? So, um, so we have a fiber processing technique that helps to accentuate the, um, the volume in, in the hair, as well as um, a fiber blending technique that helps to make the hair, the finish, more, uh, more realistic fiber finishing process. Um, we get our hair from all over, but the fibers are from Japan, um, and it's actually a Kanikawan fiber. Uh, it's one of the highest graded fibers in synthetic that you could find in the market okay. today. Yep. And is that type of fiber a longer lasting fiber, would you say? Definitely. Anything that's going to be like higher grade uh, fiber is going to, in theory, the higher grade makes it more durable um, for, um, you know, washing it, cleaning it, wearing it, the heat, and things of that nature, like where, uh, cold or heat, um, the temperatures outside, depending upon where you, where you live. Okay, interesting. And um, where do you get your inspiration for your designs, for your new designs that are coming out? Se several places, it's a great question. Um, we'll look into a catalog, um, like a fashion catalog, look online. A lot of times it's our customers and what they're saying to us our business customers saying, hey, you know, a lot of people are asking for this. That's why if you um, like something or want something, you can facilitate that through someone like Fran who can share with us. We're very uh, interpersonal with, uh, with <laughs> I got our clients. A, I got a bunch of suggestions yeah. here I'm going to give to you. <laughs> <laughs> so we can definitely um, take some of your ideas into consideration and we want to provide what, what people are looking for and also uh, provide the best type of styling product that we can. That's great. Um, 
Well, speaking of suggestions, somebody suggested uh, cool brunettes. Do you think that you'll be looking into getting some cool brunettes? There's so many suggestions that we receive and similar to that, and that's something that when we're talking about something or looking at it and then someone makes a suggestion, um, it really like a cool brunette could be something that we, we could look into and start to produce or try one. And I think that's a great idea. And I think the more that we hear from our, from our customers, the better off we are for, for reasons like that, like right. you suggested. Well, and I know I get so many questions about cool brunettes, like everybody's looking for them. So <laughs> there's a good suggestion Definitely. for you. Definitely. Okay. Permatease. Yeah. So many people ask about permatease and I always say, um, you know, permatease is used to disguise wefting. It's like a short wiry fiber that's used, I guess, underneath the other fiber so you don't see it. And it disguises wefting and it also adds volume and shape to your wig. Mm -hmm. um, but what is your philosophy on using permatease? Well, it comes in um, with production. Uh, it's something that's in, at the production stage. But um, in terms of using it for accentuating um, like more of a um, like more volume, more density, more uh, hair itself, um, we used to have more permatees in our products years ago, and um, we sort of wanted to make our products um, have less hair, more lightweight, and less permatees. Although some products and machine maids mostly have permatees added for that benefit. Longer styles can have more depending upon um, the maker, um, but we we generally um, think it's okay as long as the person has had to work with it and style it in, and it's not so much of a Con con conflict for people. Right, yeah. yeah, and I know there's people who hate permatees, and some people really like it, they like the volume. For me, it really depends on the style. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so speaking of permatees, I put on this basic cap wig. Well, it's not completely basic cap, it does have a mono crown. This is Hope in the color 12H. 12H is described as golden brown with light gold blonde highlights. So hopefully you can see that color there. So pretty. And this is a longer wig and it does have permatease. So you have wefting in this wig and I'm assuming that not only does it give me nice shape around here, but it's also used to hide the wefting. Hope has a cute little bang here and some longer layers. Really pretty style. And as far as density goes, I'm going to say she's medium to maybe even a tiny bit more. You do have the uh, permatease in here which makes it feel more dense but I do like the shape that it gives to it. Let me tell you about the measurements of Hope. Her back is 4 to 11 inches long so hopefully you can see that there. The nape is 11 inches long. The overall length is 16 and a half inches so it's a nice long wig. The bang is 5 inches, so if I wanted to wear the bang, say I wanted more of a bang, I would have to snip it a little bit to make it short enough. I actually like it as just a little side bang. And because you don't have a lace front, it's great to have a bang. I'll show you here. There's no lace front, so that makes a harsh line. And that's why the bang's great for that. The length from the ear tab is 11 inches. The top is 4 to 11 inches. The sides, 4 to 11 inches, and she weighs 4.9 ounces. So for this much hair, that's actually not a heavy weight. I really like the layers in this, the style. You could pull it back, put it up in a little clip, make a low ponytail, put it up in a little bun. That'd be really cute. Such a pretty style. All right, let me try on the glasses with this. Oh, so as I said, there's no lace front, there's no mono top, there is a mono crown. And what a mono crown will do for you is it'll make it less dense in the crown area, which is actually how our hair naturally grows. So it makes it more natural looking. I don't know if you can see that there. Try it. All right, so let's try the glasses on. Under the ear tabs, actually does not bother me at all. And over the ear tabs, totally fine. This wig is fitting me perfectly. I haven't adjusted it at all. We'll take a look at where the adjusters are when we look at the cap. I'm gonna take the color outside right now, and then we'll come back and look at the cap. 
I just walked past my husband and his friend and his friend said, ooh, I like that one. All right, so this is 12H. So you can see it here. It's the golden brown with the blonde highlights. Okay, so let's take a look at the cap. Okay, you can see here it's a basic cap, no lace front. You have your open wefting. There's your mono crown right there. You have the nice soft velvety ear tabs with the metal stays, nice long metal stays. A regular nape and Velcro adjusters. Okay, so here's where the adjusters are, which is right at the end of the Velcro. There was definitely room. I would say this would definitely go to an average or a little bit larger. And since it is a basic cap, you can see it has stretch in there because of the open wefting. So I would say this could go definitely a lot smaller than my 21 and a half inch circumference. And I would say a bit larger than average. Okay, so that is Hope in the color 12H. Okay. I would love to know if you have any new colors in the works and if you plan to make Willow even better. Would love a mono top or a hand tied version. Yeah, um, well we do have a new color coming out called 1226 uh, which will be coming out in March I believe. Um, so everyone get, you know, get ready for that. And our color number, our colors are very easy to understand. Like we use the salon color number industry with our own spin. So 12 and 26, we've taken and blended together. And we've done that with other colors like 10, 6, 13. Um, in Willow, um, obviously 12, 26 will be available. Willow is a great style. It sells really well for us. I'm not sure that changing it will help to increase sales, but people are very like happy so far. And if you ever need another Willow brand, I'll <laughs> yeah, help you with true. that. Yeah. Well, and 12 is a light brown, right? Mm -hmm. And 26 is, is a blonde. blonde yeah. Right. So it'll be a mixture of that, which is a nice combination. Very nice color. Yep. Do you have stretch in your caps? Somebody's asking about a 22 and a half inch circumference and will that fit, will your caps fit them? So the machine mates um, versus the uh, like hand tides, um, the machine mates will stretch a little bit more than the hand tides. The machine mates, um, the, the average cap size will go like 22 and a half, a little, a little bit more. You also have adjustables on the side, the straps. Um, to fit you, you'd have to know, like you have to order and see if it would fit you if you have something that you want to fit a little bit larger, but um, they do, the machine mates do stretch a little bit more than the hand tides, um, so that would be a better option for you if you're kind of concerned with the with fit. Stretch the fit, to yeah. the machine mate. We don't, we don't currently make large, large cap sizes though. Right, and you do have petites because we were talking about that, that's another question. But back to um, the stretch and the 22 and a half inch circumference, there's also other measurements that matter, right? Like the ear to ear mm -hmm. and this, so it's tough to say with just the circumference measurement whether or not something will fit but you can always get one try it if it doesn't work for you you can return it and then you'll know your size and i also have a um, on the website i have a how to measure your head if you don't know how to do that it's under the blog section so you can check that out or it might be under the size chart i think it's go to about and size chart and there's a video there where i'm showing you how to measure your head Let's see. Fran does a great job with her website. It's very, <laughs> very, very well uh, detailed. <laughs> you guys know I can't take credit for that. Matt does a great job with the website. Yeah. <laughs> and we're still working on it. We're working on doing as much as we can with color because color is the most difficult thing for people when they're buying online. It seems, you know, with style, you can mess with it and all, but the color, if it's not right for you, it's not right, yep. you know? Yep. So we're trying to do what we can. And that's, and that's one of the reasons why, to add to that point, is we use um, this, the color number system, which people will understand if they, if they do a little bit of research. It's very easy to see that, like, you know, we use the 4, the 4H, and it's a, it's a dark medium brown. It's an example. We have our own spin, but um, I think our color system is pretty much all of the numbers that you will see with an H means highlighted, um, GR or GR, which is um, a, rooted, a rooted color. So we either have highlighted or rooted, and we, we keep it pretty simple for people to understand, so. Right, um, and I notice your rooting is a very natural rooting. It's not like really dark and then light in most cases. It really looks like it's very natural. Is that something that you consciously chose to do? 
I think it's a trial and error. You know, you bring something in, test it with people, see if it does well, and then with responses, you say, oh, well, this didn't do well, let's not launch it um, fully, and then we can do something else that will be, may do a little bit better, and then you get positive results from that, and then just continue to build it into the system. Like our 10613 GR, which is one of our best selling colors, um, we started with it, and you know, anytime we're doing a new sample, we want to um, test it before we, we release it. And we had some um, back and forth with any good color or product, you have some back and forth. And then finally you get the right solution and you release it and people really like it. So that's, and then you just keep making it new styles and things like that. Okay, speaking of 10613 GR, one of their most popular colors, this is Michelle in 10613 GR. And that color is described as a light ash blonde with platinum blonde highlights and medium brown roots. So you can see that here. The 10 is your medium brown root and your 613 is your blonde. Really pretty color. And Michelle is a really cute lightweight style. I think she weighs just over two ounces. I'll get to all the specs in a second. I'm not sure if I spun in the other wigs for you. Let me spin in this one. Sometimes I forget. There we go. I love this style because it's a short, shaggy, throw on and go kind of style. And it does have a bang, and I'll read you the measurements. But this bang actually is a good length that I would not need to trim if I wanted to wear it that way. And I'd probably, if I wore the bang, put it behind my ears like that. Really cute. Or you can wear the bang off to the side. You can even wear it off your head because you have your lace front here. And you have a monofilament top in this. So you can part it anywhere. Really a cute style. All right, let me show you the measurements. It says the back is three to four and a half inches. The nape is three inches. The bang is four inches, and that's probably why it's, plus it has that little bit of a curl to it. Not a curl, but it curls to one side, so I think if it were flat at four inches, I would probably have to trim it, but the way that the bang goes, I don't think I need to. The length from the ear tab is five and a half inches. The top is three inches to five and a half inches because you have layers. The sides three inches to four and a half inches, and it weighs just 2.05 ounces. So like I said, it's lightweight. I love this shaggy style. You can just play with it, give it a little bit more volume if you want in the top. Really nice. As far as permatease, I think I do feel some around here, and that gives it its nice shape. Really adorable style. All right, let me try on the glasses with this. Oh, and as far as how it fits, it's fitting me perfectly. We'll take a look at where the adjusters are when we look at the cap. The glasses, under the ear tabs, I would feel that. Over the ear tabs, perfectly fine. All right, let's take her outside and look at the color. Okay, here you go, 10613GR. And you can see what I was saying about the rooting. I think it's a more subtle rooting as opposed to sometimes you'll see something really dark and really light, which, you know, some people really like. That can be a fashion thing. But I do find that their rooting is more subtle. So I just passed my husband and his friend talking in the uh, breakfast nook. And every time I walk by, they give me their critiques of the wigs. So my husband said, oh, I really like this one. It has a lot of life. And then they were ranking each one. And his friend said his favorite so far is the long one. He's a long hair guy. But they'll say, I like this first, this second, this third. I want to see how many they can remember by the time I'm done. All right, let's take a look at this cap. It's so interesting, the different tastes, even just between the two of them. Okay. So here you go. You have an extended lace front here, ear tab to ear tab, a full mono top, open wefting, the velvety ear tabs, very soft with the metal stays, extended nape, and Velcro adjusters. And when you're talking about stretch, I just wanted to show you this. 
When you have a wig with these features, these parts don't stretch. And that's why a basic cap that's completely open wefted will have the most stretch. So you still get some stretch in here, but none of this is stretching. So I just wanted to show you that. As far as where the adjusters are, I could make this a little bit bigger. Let me see if I can show you that. This could go a little bit bigger and it can definitely go smaller. So again, I would say it's a pretty wide range of sizes, um, but definitely up to a little bit larger than an average. Okay, that's Michelle in 10613 GR. What does it take you to get, you know, from an idea, say from a new color or a new style to the finished product, would you say, in general? M months. I mean, you first come up with the idea, then you have to figure out what you want, and then you have to start getting samples to try to produce that item um, or color or style. And it takes a long time just to facilitate that whole process and then producing and then receiving also could take months. So it could be up to a year, but it could be less, it could be more depending upon if it's a new product line. Um, so it really, it's not something that you come out with tomorrow. So a suggestion now could happen two years from now. So it's, it's about being patient, but also being persistent to say we need to get the best things out there as quick as we can too. Right. So. so that's a good point. So keep making the suggestions, but don't expect to see them, you know, <laughs> tomorrow. It's going to take a little bit of time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Candice with a side part would be good or mono top. Well, an interesting thing about that is, and I think we just came out with a style called Chelsea. Um, and Chelsea is similar to Candice and it has a uh, tan tied and it's mono, mono top. So it's a great item to um, review if you um, are looking for something a little bit more upgraded in Candice. Candice is a great selling machine made style. Um, Chelsea we just came out with recently, so um, you may not all know about it, but it, it, is, it is now available online and you can you know, definitely, um, definitely purchase it. So. Okay, so we kind of planned this part. Do you want to hand me Chelsea? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to yeah, try sure. to. Sure. <laughs> I love Candice. That was my first Henry Margot wig. So, And what color is this one? This one is the um, 827-26GR. Newer color on our rooted collect GR collection. This is beautiful. I'm just going to show this to you guys first. Look at that color. Isn't that pretty? And let's look at the cap while we're at it. You don't mind if I do this, do you? No, no <laughs> I'm excited to try this cap on. Okay, so look, you can see here, it's hand tied. Look at that. So if the wind should blow, you don't have to worry about weft showing. And you have the lace front, the mono top, and these are really soft ear tabs, your extended nape, and Velcro adjusters. All right. In the drum roll. Yeah, you know, <laughs> when I got here, I was like, oh, I want to try that on. You don't mind if I take my hair off, do you? And he was like, no, go ahead. <laughs> well, she didn't take her hair off. It's her real hair. She didn't take anything off. <laughs> It's like I'm okay with it if you're okay with it. Okay. Wow, this is pretty. This feels good too. Can you guys see? It's hard for me to tell where my lace front is, but here you go. You can look at it. Is it in the right spot? And the top. You can see the mono top. Oh, I like this. All right, so this is a similar style to Candace, but it's hand tied. Correct. And mono top, lace front, yep. Nice. I like that. Maybe I'll finish the interview in this. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling I'm going to try a few things on. Yeah. So, <laughs> will you be coming out with more low density styles? So, um, as some of you may know or, or not, over the years, um, a lot of wig makers and ourselves have had um, heavier products, um, heavier hair, like it, it sat heavier on the head. And I think that over time we've created more lightweight styles. And um, to, to your point, I think when you put something on, you want to feel that it feels refreshing, it feels cool, it's not so heavy. And that comes into the amount of hair and the fibers and, and all of that. So we, we continually try to improve that and we have so in, in the last few years, styles have changed significantly. Um, and, and I think even the longer styles, we've been able to um, create more of a um, look and feel for people that makes them feel like 
they're not wearing anything. And I think right. that's the biggest point is that it doesn't feel like you're putting something like back years ago, it felt like you're putting something on and today it's a little bit more gentle. For the, for the people that are new, you got, we were lucky, it's like the people who grew up just with the iPhone and iPad, they're, right. they're lucky, they didn't know what it was before. But I think that um, having having that experience is, is good for people and we try to continue to improve that. Yeah, yeah. and this, just speaking about caps, this hand tied cap is really comfortable. <laughs> yeah. It's really nice. And I think we have one of the most comfortable caps, hand tied caps in the industry from what we've heard. Really? Yeah, hand tied. Yeah, yeah. it is, com it's really nice. Also, do you have any new short styles coming out? So we just came out with Ivy, which is above you. Which we, we, yeah, <laughs> this is you planned. Knew, I think yeah. you knew that, but we have another one, um, Andy too, that's being released shortly. Um, mm -hmm. But Ivy is here and Petite Average, really nice style, machine made. Um, that's in the, um, the 8H and we just released her online. So um, it's definitely an opportunity to buy if that's, if that's your style. Um, it's pretty. It's a very lightweight, and um, it's a nice, it's a nice looking, uh, nice looking piece. So she's petite average, right. and you have somebody asked about uh, having more petites, and I went and I did the filter online, and I came up with two petites. But what I didn't realize is you have petite average right. also. So you actually have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven petite averages. Does that sound per, right? Per per the amount of styles we have, we may have one of the most petite. Petite average ratio to if that makes sense to the average cap sizes. So we have you know 11, 12, 13 petite, petite average styles. Um, in short and longer, Sydney is a new uh, or newer um, petite average style and it's a little longer. Brooklyn is also a petite average and mid length. Um, so we have options if you are want to wear your hair a little bit longer than the petite average. Um, and petite, petite average is 21, 21 and a half, so you can kind of it varies a little bit. We have more shorter styles in the petite. Um, it's definitely a, a um, a um, part of our company or part of our product line where people go to for they want the petites from our company and then they they order them directly because that's something that we we do specialize in but you won't you you will only find um, that specific style in petite like you won't be able to find it in average it'll be in petite so it'll be just just in your size if, if you're um, you know 21 or 21 and a half okay so I'm 21 and a half, so I am petite average, I say, you yeah. know. Okay, well, since Mark mentioned Sydney, a petite average style, I did get Sydney. This is Sydney in 31H. I'm going to show you the stock photo. For some reason, and I've probably mentioned this before, wigs look much longer on me than they do the models. I don't know if the models have longer necks or something, but I'll show you the stock photo here. And just look at where hers ends, and mine ends all the way down here. So that just highlights how important it is to know your measurements so that you know, based on the measurements given, which I'll give you the measurements for this wig, how it's going to fit you. But I do know that when I look at a stock photo, I can usually assume that the wig's going to look longer on me. Okay, so this is the color 31H, which is described as dark auburn and medium brown with warm strawberry highlights. And I think you can see that there really pretty okay let's take a look at the measurements so right off the bat I have this hair hanging here and that just happens sometimes in shipping and I know I've gotten a lot of questions about that when people receive wigs and they have a piece here what do I do with it so I'm actually going to do a video on what I do when I have a piece like that to style it off of my face all right the measurements the back is 15 and a half inches the nape, 10 and a half inches. The overall length, 17 inches. I don't know if you can see it on my dark sweater here. The bang, 10 inches. Let's pull the bang. That seems right since I'm eight and a half here to here. The length from the ear tab, 14 and a half inches. The top, 16 and a half inches. The sides 13 and a half inches and she weighs 4.8 ounces. Now as far as permatease, I don't really feel any. This is a nice low density piece if you're looking for a long wig that's low density. She does have a lace front, you can see here, and a mono top. So let me just show you there that you can part it anywhere. 
And this would be a great style to do so many things. You could definitely pull it up. I think I might even try to do like a little French twist in the back, like something like this. That would be pretty. You know, maybe with just a piece hanging in the front like that. So many things you could do with this wig. Okay, let me try the glasses on. Oh, and as far as fit goes, this is petite average. I have a 21 and a half inch circumference, which I always consider petite average. The adjusters I checked before I put it on are adjusted to the outside points and it fits me perfectly. This is a perfect fit for me. So it will go smaller than this, but I would say you can't go much beyond a 21 and a half inch circumference. Of course, your other measurements matter as well, your ear to ear and your forehead to nape. So make sure you check all of your measurements. But this is a true petite average wig. Okay, so under the ear tabs, I would feel that. Over the ear tabs, perfectly fine. All right, let's take this color outside. Okay, here you go, 31H, really pretty color. Okay, so let's take a look at our cap. Okay, here you go. You have a temple to temple lace front, a mono top, the velvety ear tabs with the metal stays, the extended nape, and the open wefting. And that is Sydney, a petite average in 31H. I always wanted to wear one with a hat. How Looks cute great, is that? Great color, great color on you. Oh my gosh, I love this. <laughs> I'm taking it home. What color is the hair in this? It's a 12, 12 H. 12 H, yeah. 12 H. Black hat. We have three colors, three, three different colored hats to wear. Um, beige, blue, and the black one. She's wearing I different lengths and, and curls as well. So there's a curly option as well, and um, that's the that's the 12 inch. And with the hats with hair, um, if you do if you do order loving this. if you do order one, there's care instructions on the side, so you you can wash them in water. The whole product it doesn't come apart. Very unique item that sort of uh, comes in one one part, um, and you can um, wash it together, like just. So you wash the hat and the hair together. Exactly. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So right after that part that I just showed you, my camera died and we switched to my phone. So I figured I'd show you, I actually did take this home. I love it. I wore it around yesterday. It's such a cute style. I'll show you the back. So you see, you even have the hair here behind this part. And I love that you can wash it all at once together. I haven't washed it yet, but I'll let you know how that goes when it's time to wash it. I don't have a wig grip on with this. You can see, here's my hair. So this is the product, and the color is 12H. So you can see there that there's some brunette with some gold highlighting. And it's just so easy and fun. Just throw it on and go. All right. Here's the end of the interview. All right, so where were we? We were at where we're headed in the future. So to cap off what we were saying before, um, I think it's all about relationships and like the clients that we have and we've been serving for many years to continue with them. Fran um, also dealing with her and wanting to interact with you guys and the customer, the end, end customer, whether it be through social media or through Fran or whomever, um, being able to connect and like we were talking about earlier with suggestions, we're very open, we're more of a, um, like more of a personalized company and we like to interact with people around us and build those relationships and understand who's using the product. Um, so I think in, in our design ability and in the future, it's like the more that, you know, as a manufacturer wholesaler, um, we didn't have much communication before internet, you know, or before the internet was very big with consumers and customers and I think now that we have more of that we're getting more feedback and that's just increasing our ability to create better products new product lines and increasing our pace as well and I think that's going to be the continued trend into the future and I really look forward to working with you and we're both in Pennsylvania which is great so I can just drive on over and we can 
look at new styles whenever you come out with them. I think that'll be a lot of fun. And next year when Puxatani Phil, because he, he's a groundhog who sees a shadow, he didn't see a shadow this year, so spring is supposed to come sooner. It's a local it's a local town in Pennsylvania that 30,000 people come out yes. to see. So maybe next year you can connect and come out and do that and maybe try hair. So Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for doing this. Of course, thank you for coming. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that interview with Mark Margu. I know I learned so much, and I did get answers to all of your questions. I will be doing another video showing more Henry Margu wigs, and I will answer those questions in that video. I also gave him all of your suggestions, and they take your suggestions seriously, so please keep them coming. Don't forget to head on over to Franny'sHair.com to enter into that raffle for a free Raquel Welsh or Gabor wig of your choice. While you're there, check out our Valentine's event where almost everything is on sale. And don't forget that Henry Margu wigs are on sale starting today, so you get the chance to get your favorite wigs first. As always, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own, and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.